did you make of the team's performance today? Um, I'm very pleased. I think they did very well in terms of coming uh, back from you know being down 2-0 uh, and then flip it around to a 5-2 win here at Griffin Park. That's a um, fantastic feeling. Who did you think was the man of the match? That's the team. Um, how many can I pick on one? Uh, bad. Oh, I think there were so many who was good. Oh, no, 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 for me it's always difficult because I was pleased. You know, Neil Mopak got a goal, but he worked so hard for the team. Uh, Saeed Rama a goal and uh, assist. Oli, uh, goals and assist. And I think Romain and um, and Camo in the middle of the pitch, they just controlled the game. What do you think could have been improved? Not conceding two silly goals in the beginning of the game. Uh, I would like to avoid that going forward. Okay. Touch on those two goals, Thomas. You must be delighted with the response for. Oh, very delighted. Um, the, um, the the interesting bit was that we actually talked a lot about the the strength of Blackburn and what they can do as teams um, and why they they, they were an informed team. Um, so the two goals they scored was was disappointing, and we, and we need to do better going forward. Uh, one um, um, a wide free kick and one. Okay, no, okay, well played by Blackburn, but we just need to, to control the situation a bit. But to be fair, the response to that, first half a little bit back and forth, but the last 10, 15 minutes we controlled the game. Um, and second half, yeah, we got better and better, and we created. You, we had a feeling that we can create when we wanted uh, on the day, uh, but the thing was, again, not again, but the thing was the defensive elements where we've been unbelievable good because we've so been so unbelievable good and not conceded any chances more or less you're always a little bit more disappointed when you concede uh, a few goals and um, uh, and some chances but uh, the comeback is is, is, is fantastic yeah, I say it. well done to the boys I'm very proud of them I'm very proud of the fans how they backed us and it's only because of the fans as well they we can fit this around from 2-0 down to 5-2 to so we are in a in a better place and we need to continue. We don't want to go back too far but there were shades of the Swansea game, down a couple of goals early but does that show how far this team has come from those days? I just said that to, to the players in the dressing room, uh, this shows how hard you guys have been working, uh, how hard all of us have been working to change this uh, around, that they were cool, body language was good, choking, you know, just staying in the game no matter what happened. And then flip it around to a 5 2 win is a little bit more than I maybe expected us, us to do. But I said in the, in the halftime, we we have a big belief. I think all of us have a big belief. We, we can turn this, this around. We just need to adjust a bit. You know, the rest defending, control that a little bit better, defend better in the duels. And then the double switch was on every single time. You spoke in pre match about how you want to take a little bit from Conte, a little bit from Clark, a little bit from Evers. What bits of them did you see in that at the end today? Um, I would say the rest defending from Conte was not top. The no defending from uh, Simone was not top. But I would say the positioning um, in the way and how we want to break throughs from uh, Let's Guardiola was on, on a high level. And the bits of the pressing in, in moments uh, throughout the game, spells throughout the game, was, was top as well. My math isn't a brilliant, but I think that's now 15 goals in the four games. That's okay, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's, uh, that's brilliant. And, and we, we know that uh, we have players, and I'm so pleased that uh, Said, Ali, and, and, and Neil scored. But even more important, actually, more that uh, Serge is coming on the pitch, uh, second time in a row. Uh, he scored against uh, Barnett. He came on the pitch against um, uh, Rotherham, had an assist. So important that we have strong players that can come off the, off the bench and make a difference. And Moses included in Moses. <laughs> what was the latest on Rico? Uh, I don't know exactly the latest. It was um, it was an ankle. Uh, Injury, we don't know how, if maybe only a couple of days, I'll know more uh, tomorrow. And this just keeps momentum bubbling over? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, so pleased that we can keep this moment, momentum. Nine games unbeaten is, is, a, is a joy, uh, but this thing we need to, to work on. Uh, and we have honestly a big game on Tuesday because we want to go on a FA Cup. You mentioned how important the fans were today as well, but how important was your was your little assistant assistant head coach as well? I would say Era. She uh, she made the difference. Uh, without her, we couldn't have uh, flipped this around. I've never done it on my own, so uh, this is the first time we went from a two 0 down to a five two win. So big credit to her.